What's up guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Hunter here, and today I'm going to be making a tier list of all the best places to buy Yu-Gi-Oh! cards secondhand. Let's get right into it. The first place is card shops. The pros of a card shop is that you will always get what you are paying for. You can expect the cards as long as you want, and take as much time as you want to certify that this is the card you want, and that it is the correct condition that you would like. The second pro of a card shop is that the product will always be in that one spot. You don't have to search around constantly, you know where it is. This is unlike some of the other places that are featured on this tier list. The third pro is that there are no shipping costs. It's always in-store pickup, so no exorbitant shipping costs like some people on TCG Player have. The cons of the card shop is what really bring this down. The first con is that you will be paying full price. Most card shops use TCG Player to price their cards, and you will rarely pay under market value. The second con is that there are a few good deals to be found. This kind of goes hand in hand with the last point. The only time you're going to find a good card at a card shop is if you are sorting through their bulk pile and happen to find something that they missed. The next con is that this is a high traffic area. There will always be tons of people at card shops, so even if there is a good deal there, someone is probably going to pick it up before you. The fourth con is that you will be paying taxes on your cards, so just an extra cost on top of everything else. An interesting note about card shops is that you can include pawn shops in this list ever since the creation of TCG Player. In my experience, most pawn shops use TCG Player to price their cards, and their cards are at market value. Because of these reasons, card shops get firmly put into the F tier. Of course, if you want sealed products, make sure to go to your card shops and compete in locals and tournaments at your card shops. But if your goal is to buy cheap cards on a secondary rate, card shops is not going to be your option. The next place that we will discuss is eBay. Once again, I will go through the pros first. Number one is that eBay has lots of product. eBay is completely unrivaled in terms of mass quantities of product. If you are looking for something, odds are you can find it on eBay. Number two is that it is easy to find what you want. You can easily search from, for what you want. There are lots of filters, and it's very easy to find new stuff. Number three is that you can easily communicate with sellers. Also, sellers generally want to help you out. One time, I went to buy a Serpent Night Dragon, and it said it was first edition, so I thought I got a good deal. But when the card was on its way, it turns out I looked back at the posting, and it was unlimited. Also, the card got lost in the mail. I immediately messaged the seller, and they gave me a full refund. The card came anyway, and they did not want to charge me. So, the good communication really helped me out. Also on eBay, you know you will get what you bought. It is easy to tell if a seller is reputable. All you have to do is look at their stars. There is also shipping protection and item insurance. If the seller does not ship your item, you will get your money back. If your item gets damaged in shipping, you are also going to get your money back. If something was a complete scam, they will give you a refund. Also, eBay's customer service is excellent. One time I had a major problem. I'll tell the story another time. But anyways, eBay quickly resolved the problem and gave me all my money back. The main cons of eBay is that it is a high traffic area. More things are posted close to the market price because of this. Also, good deals get snatched up more quickly. There are many people on eBay looking for good deals. So if you want a good deal, you are going to have to find it first and get it quickly. The best place to find good deals on eBay is on auctions. But it is not as good as some of the other places on this list. Another problem is that you can't inspect the cards in person. You are going to have to rely upon the seller to be honest about what they are sending you. Additionally, you do have to pay taxes and shipping, just another expense on top of the card. Because of these reasons, eBay gets put firmly into the C tier. It's easy to find some decent stuff, but overall, you're not going to get super good deals. The next place on this list is thrift or secondhand stores. The main pros of thrift stores is, one, it is easy to find cards if they are there. Sometimes they're in the toy section, sometimes they're in a glass case up at the front, uh, sometimes... Thrift stores even have sections where they keep binders, and you can find the cards there. If you do find cards, another pro is that you can inspect the cards in person. Unlike eBay or other online sites, you can decide for yourself whether the cards are in good condition or not. Also, if you don't know some of the card prices, you can look them all up. The third pro is that most thrift stores won't know what they have, and you will more than likely be able to get a good deal. However, thrift stores do have some major cons. One is that you will probably not find any cards there. I've only found Yu-Gi-Oh! at one thrift store, and I've been to many, many thrift stores many times looking for them. Even at this one thrift store, they had the cards mostly identified and priced out. 
This is because this was a secondhand store that was used to reselling. So I guess I haven't really found any cards at actual thrift stores. It was most it was just like a more secondhand type of store. But I got one card that was worth seven dollars for one dollar because they misidentified it. So there are still good deals to be found even in this scenario. Number two is that it takes a lot of time and money if you are driving, especially if you visit more than one store. This is not high quality time and you will probably waste it because most thrift stores do not have cards. Additionally, you will have to pay taxes. Also, just a side note, many Goodwills, which is one of the most popular thrift stores, put Yu-Gi-Oh! up on their online auction site. You will not get good deals here and all cards sell overpriced. Mainly because of the lack of cards at thrift stores and the inefficiency of searching, thrift stores go firmly into the D tier. Our next place is a website called OfferUp that sells all manner of things in a local pickup or shipped setting. Some good pros of OfferUp is that they have a decent amount of product. There is a lot of stuff to find on their OfferUp website. Just search up Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you'll be able to surf for a very long time. Not as much as eBay, but there are many new Yu-Gi-Oh posts every single day. Number two is that not very many people know about OfferUp or use it. I once found $540 in cards for $165 in a post that had been up for a couple months. That's actually where I got my first Ed Dark Magician of Chaos. The third is that people will post cheap deals, just like I showcased before. Unlike eBay, people are not trying to get top dollar for their cards, and they cannot due to lack of customers on the site. Additionally, with OfferUp, you can easily communicate with sellers. You can chat with sellers, and you could submit offers to sellers if you don't want to pay as much as the list price. As I said before, additional to shipping, they have local pickup option. It is easy to distinguish between them. They also have shipping insurance. So if a seller ships an item and it gets damaged, you will get your money back. Similar to eBay, if a seller does not ship the item, you'll get your money back. All you have to do is notify OfferUp within the specific time that is listed in their terms on their website. OfferUp does have some cons though. Its user interface is not very user friendly. It does not sort posts by time very well. So if you search yesterday and you search again today, then you may find a post that's six months old listed before a post that is actually only two days old. So you will have to spend time scrolling and searching to find what you want. Another major con is that unfortunately you cannot send pictures in the chat. If you want more pics of someone's collection, you will need to give them your phone number or email. Additionally, OfferUp has a more prevalent amount of scammers. Since OfferUp is a smaller platform, scammers are more likely to contact you or post there. One time, I unfortunately got scammed $400 on OfferUp. So that was because that wasn't through OfferUp. I made a PayPal payment, and I never got my money back. That is a story for another time, though. But because OfferUp has such a large variety and new posts every day for cheap deals, OfferUp goes firmly into the A tier. OfferUp is an A tier buying place, and I would recommend spending your time looking on OfferUp for cards. The second to last place on our list is Garage or Estate Sales. Some pros of the garage or estate sales is that it is easy to find the cards if they are, in fact, at the garage sale. And you will have a long time to identify the cards. Once again, you can stand around looking through them if you want and take time to price them out if you are not sure of their price by first look. Lots of times you can get a good deal. If it's a garage sale, it's going to be cheap. Estate sales can be even more cheap because they are looking to move things out. In fact, many estate sales will give you a better deal the more you buy. Additionally, there are no taxes or shipping costs. You pay for what you get. Some cons is that, unfortunately, most yard sales or garage sales do not have Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I've only found two in my lifetime, and both of these were off listings on Facebook Marketplace anyway. You will spend a lot of time, energy, and potentially money trying to find a garage sale with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There is no guarantee that if you're just searching around, you will find a garage sale with Yu-Gi-Oh! One tip is to try and find a neighborhood yard sale so that you can just drive to one place and hit up a lot of houses in a small amount of time. Although you can get good deals at a garage sale, it is a main con that you are probably not going to find cards. Because of this, garage sales go firmly into the C tier with eBay. Our last place on this list is Facebook Marketplace. Some of the main pros of Facebook Marketplace is one, that they have tons of product. There are at least 100 new Yu-Gi-Oh! posts daily on Facebook Marketplace, in my estimation. I should know because I browse every single day. 
and the demographic that has all collectible Yu-Gi-Oh cards uses Facebook. So you have one 25 to 35 year olds who had collectible cards as a kid and 55 to 70 year olds whose kids had collectible cards and left them at their house when they went to college. So the people that have Yu-Gi-Oh cards are selling on Facebook. Number two, Facebook has a very friendly user interface. It is easy to search things up specifically, almost up to eBay's search standards as well. There are lots of filters you can filter by price, date listed, etc. Additionally, Facebook Marketplace has excellent communication with sellers. You can talk on Messenger, unlike OfferUp, you can easily send pics. And this is also better than eBay because you don't use email. eBay, you can send pics, but it takes a while and it's slow and inconvenient because you have to send them over email. Additionally, people will post cheap deals on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace, for most people, is the place to go to if they want to sell their things, especially locally. Many people who need money fast will post here. Lots of the time on Facebook Marketplace, there is also no taxes or shipping cost as well. And there are lots of local options. If it is a shipped item, if you are buying through Facebook's interface, you will have insurance, and Facebook will give you your money back if you are scammed. There are a couple cons, though, for Facebook Marketplace. For a novice, it can be hard to know how to get someone to ship if it isn't a specific shipping post. Many items are listed as local pickup only and are too far away from you. This is where many of the good deals are, unfortunately. In the future, I'll be making another video on how to safely get someone to ship the cards to you without insurance. The second con is that there are a large amount of scammers. Since it is such a large platform, many scammers will use it. However, unlike OfferUp, Facebook is a lot quicker on getting rid of them. Facebook Marketplace is the best place to look for Yu-Gi-Oh cards secondhand. This means that Facebook Marketplace goes straight up all the way into the S tier. Thank you for watching this video. If you disagree with any of my placements or have other places you would like me to review or give advice about, make sure to leave your opinion in the comments below. In the future, I'll be posting more videos on the best way to find cards at these places, especially Facebook Marketplace. Make sure to subscribe.